Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, so good to be here with you all. As you are jumping on, let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. Were you with us in the masterclass last week? Did you join us for that? Let's see. If we are live, let me know if you can see me. There we go. I can see you. Hurrah, hurrah. As you're jumping on, do let me know where in the world you are tuning in from. And of course, if you're catching the replay, a huge welcome to our replayers. So happy that you are here with us. If you use the hashtag replay, then I can circle back and say hello. I know you've joined us for the replay. So a huge welcome to our time together today. What has been cooking for you today? There we go. Hi, Julie. Welcome, lovely. I can see there's a little bit of a delay. So for those of you that are new in our group, I know we've been welcoming in some new people this week. My name is Louisa Havers. I'm the creator of the Helix Method. I help entrepreneurs and coaches to live at their highest potential and to claim more of life. I am so excited for our time together today. I've had lots of questions about the Helix Method, what it is, what will I learn, is this for me, can I experience things, all the things. So we're going to get those questions answered for you today and I'm going to guide you through one of our techniques so you can experience it as a group and you can see how as a Helix Method mentor you can work privately with clients and you can also lead groups as well. Who here has had a Helix Method session either with myself or with one of our clients who is a certified advanced Helix Method mentor? Let me know in the comments. And of course, anyone joining on the replay as well, let me know if you have had a session. If yes, what did you work on? If you are a Helix Method mentor, you're here live or on the replay, do say hello so we can give you a shout out as well. This is so exciting. And if you've been in our world for a while, you will know, you'll know this already, but you know, if not a massive welcome. And what we're up to over here is our mission is to help spiritual entrepreneurs to, to live at their highest value so they can live at their fullest self-expression because we all want to live our best lives, live the lives of our dream so that we can make the world a better place. And I truly believe that when we are committed to raising the vibration of the planet and we are committed to raising the consciousness of the planet and, and we're able to do this, of course, by leading up with ourselves first and then the work that we do with our clients one human at a time, when we start to raise the consciousness of our planet, um, the world does truly become a better place. So we do all of this by being the number one place for our clients and uh, coaches to come to for alignment, manifesting, channeling higher realms of consciousness and making a bigger impact with, with the businesses. And for those of you that are getting to know me I've worked with over it's well over a thousand entrepreneurs and coaches now and help them to break through their upper limits in life and business my background is I used to be a senior manager for social services and I led on developing multi-million pound services I was managing change across multiple agencies I led on multidisciplinary team of probation police fire rescue services and during my time, led on developing um, services for domestic abuse and sexual abuse right across my area, so across the whole of Sussex, um, preventing radicalization, drug and alcohol, homelessness. And prior to that, I was developing services for older people with mental health units and dementia care. And I share that because I understand trauma really well. Um, and that combined with my background in, uh, you know, I've got a psychology degree, postgraduate in counseling diploma. Trained in pranic psychotherapy, advanced pranic healing, uh, EAM, 
a master uh, in the Akashic Records uh, Soul Journeys Method. I'm a teacher of the Soul Journeys Method as well, and years and years of coaching people and developing services with service users of, you know, um, the different uh, ranges in terms of domestic abuse, sexual abuse and uh, drug and alcohol and, and all the things. Um, I've got over, it's at well over 10,000 hours under my belt of improving performance and managing change. And I actually left after 13 years to live my purpose and my mission on coaching and mentoring people to live at their highest potential. Gosh, that was in 2016. I've just realized it's about six years. I'm nearly halfway there. Ha, yes. <laughs> Halfways of, you know, uh, I was thinking about that, thinking about, gosh, that was halfway of the amount of time I actually spent at social services. And time has actually flown since I left um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I absolutely love so that just hit me as I was thinking about that it was 13 years ago and I was like oh halfway to having 13 years of being an entrepreneur in my, in my own business and, and uh doing all the amazing things that we're doing in our company and uh, all our wonderful clients and within all of that of course you know within my professional experience and then of course within my own family you know we've had our own traumatic experiences along the generational line and of course this will have an impact on each family member in their day-to-day -day life that will then has an impact on their body, their health, and being able to know how to transmute this for your optimal well-being is absolutely key. And this is really important to speak to this because we are talking about alignment and manifesting and reality creation. And as we heal the different layers of trauma and trapped emotions within our consciousness, and that has an impact on our identity, and then we bring more of ourselves into that flow state that we desire. So as we start to change our identity and our beliefs and our emotions and the actions that we then ultimately take, that impacts the results that we get. So instead of having, you know, only 20% of our consciousness in flow and holding the other 80% in resistance or stuck energy, because we aren't understanding how to change energy or, or really understanding, you know, what is going on in our energy or in our client's energy, we then start to be able to bring in, you know, how, increase that 20% to 30% in flow and then 40% and so on. So raising our vibration and meaning that ultimately we can manifest more quickly when we do that and create the reality we desire more quickly. And it is throughout all my experience that, you know, bring all of this. I've developed my own way of working with my clients. I realized to help them break through and to live at their highest potential now. So I know what works, what doesn't work, why someone will get faster results than others, what's going on energetically with someone so you can unlock the subconscious for, for faster, faster results. So um, I realized that I was create, you know, working in my own unique way and people were asking me, you know, can I, can you teach me to do what you do? And so the Helix method was born. And one of the main questions I get asked about the Helix Method is, you know, from other colleagues who perhaps already do energy work or work with other energy healing modalities and wonder what, you know, what will be different? What does it mean? Or, you know, all the things. So to give you a bit of an overview, the Helix Method combines the magical lineage of the uh, goddess Isis's mystery school with Western energy psychology and manifesting methods to empower people to master the art of reality creation so that they can live at their highest potential across all areas of life. And the Helix Method is named after the impact that this work has on our vibration, because as we raise our vibration, as we change consciousness and who we are, we change the consciousness of ourselves, and then this impacts our DNA, and each DNA strand is a double helix. And another key part of our method is aligning the higher self, the subconscious mind, and the conscious mind, so activating the spiritual cord of connection, which is made up of three spiritual cords connected to your pineal gland, your heart chakra, and your solar plexus. So I see this as your triple helix spiritual cord of connection. So it's all about the helix. And many of our clients who choose to come into the helix method are certified in other modalities or are downloading and creating their own modalities and are in that space where they're committed to growing and developing their skills. And so choose to come into our program for their continued development and commitment to always improving and growing. So we have a wonderful community. And I just love seeing the results that uh, our clients have with their clients and all the heart hearts that they have as they start to implement what they learn so let us know if you have had a helix method session or if you're a helix method mentor and we can give you a shout out and of course if you're catching the replay as well then let us know so we can cycle back and say hello so i wanted to give you a 
a sneak peek and to experience an immediate shift with one of our foundational techniques. So are you up for that? Give me a yes in the comments if you are. Hi, Glenda. Good to see you here. Let me know if you are up for experiencing that now. Hi, Emma. Okay, awesome. So when you think of entities, I want you to think about what does that actually mean for you? What does an entity mean? Because every time you're thinking a thought, you're sending out an electromagnetic thought frequency. So this includes thoughts that are questions. And think of these as tiny thought entities that have an energy and a form to them. Thought forms of energy are a, a conjunction of thoughts and emotions that float and permeate the aura of you, the creator, and your energy field, your human Wi-Fi. And the energy generated in our mind as thoughts and emotions can be sent through our chakras and our aura systems to any place and person. So this is why we're able to influence each other's energy fields and how distance healing works. So therefore, if we generate positive thoughts, we're sending positive energy. If we're generating negative thoughts, we're sending negative energy. And most thought forms of energy are, are created unconsciously and without intention. So these thought forms of energy can be perceived by clairvoyant people in, in, the way, in these ways. So huge dark spots being located around the aura of a person who's holding negative energy or special light spheres, positive energy in their field if they're, if they're positive, you know, holding positive energy. So these thought forms of energy are created with a simple act of thinking and feeling. And we're surrounded by thought forms of energy all the time. But the quality of these will depend on the type of vibration of, of our thoughts and our emotions. And these energetic forms act as magnets to those that they are in resonance with. So including people who are thinking similar frequency, thought forms, experiences, environments, and so on. And most people with negative energy will tend to have dense fields. You might have noticed that if you're empathic, you'll feel that, you can really feel the density there. And these fields can stay in the places where the person has, has been and perhaps carried out whatever they're doing, whether it's work, if they're in the home. And this is an imprint of their human Wi-Fi onto the field. Other people call it psychic radiation field. So even in their absence, once they've left, that place, that area is impregnated with that frequency and it affects the people and the beings that are in the places. Does that make sense? And then negative thought forms. So these are attachments. These are the most common and they are essentially clusters of thoughts with similar vibrations and thought forms can carry the the signature of, the emo of emotions like fear, hatred, anger, despair, paranoia, just to give you some examples of the you know, negative ones. And when a person or group, and the group could be a family, a company, a country, thinks about an, a certain idea, an emotion, an event enough, these thoughts will come together and then attach those with similar, similar energies. And the result of having a negative thought form attaches it, you will find yourself creating more of that emotion, even if you're trying not to. So when you think, you create a thought form. This is a living being that is produced by the process of thinking. And usually these are, you know, weak in form, their lifespan's really short. But there's something to bear in mind here, because if you think of the magnetism, when you have repeated thoughts and the density of them, does that make sense? So before I go any further, just know that these can be easily released and effectively with the techniques in the Helix Method. So we've got you. But this cluster, these are known as thought entities. So where a repeated thought or emotion acquires enough energy density to become a thought entity. And these thought entities have a certain level of consciousness and independence. But they're always linked to the person who thought them for, you know, for a long time. And these thought entities usually begin to be born at the, 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 
at the level of the, of the you know the, the back of our neck and then they always grow and keep growing and the more the thought entity grows the more the weight the person's going to feel and and you can even have um you know your clients having recurrent back pain they might even start being hunched over that camp that was you know pretty rare but they will attract and grow from new emotions and thoughts of the same vibration so we think of these entities that can attach themselves to the person who thought them like a tick but it feeds on the emotions of the people around them and that that person and can even hook on to other people who are together with you know with you who created the thought form in the first place and have that same energetic vibration if you remember we're magnets and we can pick that up during the time that we spend together with somebody so we've got this feedback loop. The thought entity is attaching itself not only to the, the person who thought the thought, then also whatever it's coming into resonance with in its field with other people. And there's a feedback loop. So the thought entity is capable of sending a signal to you, to you who thought the thought. So what I mean here is if someone has an angry thought entity, they can feel angry for no reason. And so the person's going to continue generating anger continuously and the thought entity attached to him is going to be charged up for this indefinitely. So it's like a bioenergy feedback loop within the entity and the, the, the thinker, the person who thought the thought. So as I'm sharing this, you're thinking, ah, oh, that makes sense why that person's so angry all the time. Or that makes sense why I feel like X, Y, Z when I'm around so and so. and saying yes it makes sense busted <laughs> I love it. And there's many many types of thought entities you know when someone hurts the person feels a certain emotion time passes and then that emotion disappears but then after a few days let's say you meet somebody who suffered something similar and that emotion that disappeared can then resurface and it can feel like you're having that experience all over again and this occurs because the thought entity entity generated and created by the thoughts that they've become anchored in into the energetic structures of the person who's and just waiting for an opportunity to manifest again and the same is going to happen when you know we connect with a person who's charged with a thought entity in their aura so if the person's vibrating at that same frequency as the thought entity around him they'll be invaded by that thought entity and start to feel bad so we we are in and out of each other's auras <laughs> sitting in each other's murky soups all the time yeah, and this is you know it can happen so quickly walking past people on the street walking into a certain area where there's that psychic imprint so thinking about the emotional thought entities just to give you some examples you can have so these are the some of the common ones judgment thought entity so this can build up if people are thinking badly of other people all the time or even belittling themselves all the time, judging themselves. Jealousy, thought entity. And this can become, of course, you know, because of insecurity, belittling others, so they're trying to make themselves feel better about them, their own selves. Worrying, thought entities. Controlling, thought entities. Wanting other people to do what they say overriding their will and choice and often as i mentioned these these will be created unconsciously but they can be created consciously of course as well and that's when conscious creation of thought entities is helpful because we can use them for our own benefit and that's what we're doing when we're doing you know rituals and prayers and invocations we're using that for our own benefit so it's really important to understand that thought entities they don't all have to be negative Phew. But it's the intention of the person who's doing the thinking. And as I mentioned, these negative entities can grow and other people's thought entities can be, can be linked to us. And this occurs because some thought entities can then manage to become independent from the person who originally thought it up and then roam the astral and attracting more and more energy. So building up more and more momentum until someone sends it back. <laughs> So it is possible for a thought entity to roam freely and to continue growing its energy, its, you know, energy from, from other people. And then in addition to that, you can have thought entities. These are, uh, you can 
have elementals. So you may hear me refer to them as negative elementals. So just think of these as like um, lower types of energy beings and some elementals are energy parasites. So this is where you'd see it with, think of addictions as elementals such as smoking, alcohol, drugs, gambling. I just wanted to give you this context so you can understand the energetics behind this. Is, is this useful? We teach you how to identify if your client has an emotional thought form for entities or elementals to be released. And then you can support your client to release this through our processes that we coach you on to do as a mentor. And I'll lead you through one of our processes now. So who's who's up for that to experience that? We're going to identify and release an energetic thought form, an entity. Julie's saying freaky. Yeah. Have you had any light bulb moments, Julie, as I've been sharing this in terms of thinking about stuff that's happened, how you feel around certain people, certain parts of town? CJ's up for it. Yay! Julie's up for it. Awesome. Anyone on the replay, are you up for it? Go say yes if you're up for it. Okay, so what I'm going to guide you through, we're going to connect with your higher self first. I'm going to invite you to muscle test so you can find out what thought entity you're holding. And then I'll guide you through clearing, clearing it with this particular process. Does that sound good? Okay, so I just invite you just to take a moment. And if you've worked with me before, you know um, our process for connecting to your higher self and activating that, that line. So I just invite you to set the intention that you're connecting to your higher self through your soul star chakra, about 18 inches above the head. And we're gonna connect through breath work by increasing your life force energy and through an invocation, creating a thought form. So inviting you to breathe in for four, hold for four and breathe out for eight and to do this three times at your own pace. As you visualize above your head, the soul star chakra. One more time. And then affirming, speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I'm creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and are all working towards my highest path and purpose. Okay, so now we're going to do some muscle testing. Now we've got the alignment between your higher self, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. So we're going to do some muscle testing. Now, if you haven't done any muscle testing before, you're pretty new to it, then I invite you just to give yourself a thymus thump. So just placing the fingers just here and just to tap. So you're tapping on the thymus gland and tap for 15 to 20 seconds whilst just breathing in slowly and deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. This is just aligning your energy so we're going in a forward direction and then internally tell yourself, I'm gonna go forwards for yes and backwards for no. So instructing your subconscious, okay. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the sway test. There's lots of different muscle tests you can use. The sway test is my favorite. If you haven't done this before, you simply just stand with your feet hip width apart, hands down by your side, and then you say a statement and your body is going to respond to a forward sway for a yes, backwards sway for a no. So if you haven't done any muscle testing before, to build your confidence for this as you test the sway, I would invite you to say your name because you know it's true. So there's going to be nothing to question about that. And then, then say something you know to be false. So I would say my name is Louisa Havertz and my body's going to go, yes, you are. And I will start to kind of sway forwards if I was standing up. If I was to say my name is Donald Duck, I'm putting myself going back straight away. Nope, yeah, not Donald Duck. Okay, if you've... If this is your first time doing it, it can feel a bit slower because, of course, 
the trust and confidence of the technique builds as you do it. Okay, so for the purposes of today, I'm gonna to assume you've um, understood how to do the muscle testing. Any questions, if you're um, struggling with that, pop below the video and we'll circle back and answer them to keep, get you muscle testing properly. So we're gonna invite you to muscle test these three. Have I got an anxious thought form to do with whatever it is, something you're manifesting, for example? Have I got a judgment entity and have I got a worry entity? So I invite you to muscle test those, those three. If you've got any questions in the comments, I'm just gonna tune in to see if there's any questions. Uh, no, we're good, Julie's saying I'm so sensitive, I feel in certain places in town, yeah. But this is gonna be very, very supportive to you. Okay, so let me know when you've muscle tested those three. And if you've got a forward sway and a yes, the key thing to say here as well is your subconscious responds to the language that you use. So if you're feeling out of alignment with what you're saying, then just slightly tweak the language to say it how you would say it. Does that make sense? That's really, really key. And as you're doing this, then I invite you to notice how you're feeling as you're doing this about your worry entity, anything, anything that you observe in your body as you're muscle testing. Do you suddenly get hot? You've got a heat wave in the UK. Do you get hotter <laughs> than you are already? Do you suddenly go cold? Do you get a pressure somewhere? Where are you feeling it? Perhaps an image comes into your mind's eye as your body is responding to the muscle testing. This just helps you to connect in with the the, the entity that you're letting go. Okay, so once you've identified what you're going to let go of, then the thing, feeling hot, got a yes for all three, hot feet, I know that's where you feel it. Awesome. Okay, so let me guide you through this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a releasing statement and visualization to let this entity go. So I like to do the breathing three times as I'm intending to let it go, bringing your heart into a coherent energetic state. And to say the statement once out loud followed by twice internally. So just invite you to drop down into your heart center, breathing in love and grace. And just intend for the energy to release as you let it go. And then say the following out loud, again, paying attention to how you feel throughout this process what's going on in your energy. I'm ready to release this worrying entity. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Just taking a nice deep breath. Let it go with the out breath. Noticing if you're feeling any sensations around the back of the neck or anywhere else in your body. And at this moment in time, I invite you as you're saying the releasing statements to visualize a light white green light coming down over your aura from your soul star chakra from above your crown. Coming down over your crown and over your entire body. And you see your aura filling up with light white green light. Light white. Green light disintegrates energy. So this will be, it's like giving you an energetic shower. <laughs> and at this space as well, I invite you just to notice if there's any chakras where you can feel like a pressure. Because this energy can get stuck in the chakras. And then we're gonna repeat this statement twice internally. So just becoming aware of that light white green light coming down. I'm ready to release this worrying entity. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. I'm just taking a nice deep breath in and out. And then one more time. I'm ready to release this worrying entity. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. And just taking a nice deep breath. 
Breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And then I invite you to take a moment to observe that it has gone. And you can validate this by muscle testing. So say the statement in the positive as, for example, I have released this worrying entity. And you'll sway forward as it is true. So let's see. CJ's releasing big time worry. Julie's letting go of worry and anxiety. Awesome. So how are you feeling? Have you let that go? When you muscle test, did the validation sway? Let me know so I can support you if you need, need any more support. And again, anyone on the replay, pop your questions below, I will cycle back. And keep you moving forward. And it's gone. Okay, awesome. Anyone else playing along, just let us know. So it's gone, it's still there. <laughs> I'll keep us moving forward. And for those of you on the replay, let us know where you're at. And then our fourth step is where we're aligning and we're manifesting. This is where you're changing your reality and you're imprinting into your human Wi-Fi, the, the belief, the thought, the pattern, the thing that you desire. So I invite you to bring your heart into a coherent energetic state through your breath work. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just focusing on your heart. And doing that again, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And just visualize yourself filling it up with love. When you feel the love, then you're ready to command in with the intention that it is already done. You can say, it's a line you and create the thought forms of around divine love. So I'm ready to allow myself to feel and align to divine love. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. You may want to put your hand on your heart. We you have your arms up in the air in the receiving position. And then I invite you to, again, just to become aware again of that light white green light coming down from your soul star chakra. It's filling up your aura. Your aura is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And you internally say, I'm ready to allow myself to feel and to align to divine love. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Take a nice deep breath in and out. I'm going to do it one more time. Visualizing your aura is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. I'm ready to allow myself to feel and to align to divine love. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Take me a moment. Just to breathe in for four and breathe out for four. Noticing how you're feeling. I can see CJ and Julia saying that the entity's gone. So how are you feeling now? You've imprinted this into your field. What are you noticing in your body? Let us know in the comments. And again, if you're catching the replay, let us know in the, the replay. Are you feeling a sense of peace? Are you feeling a physical shift? Or just a sense of peace and calm, excitement? How are you feeling? Taking a moment just to observe how your energy is speaking to you. This is just one of many transformation techniques within our toolkit for Helix Method Mentors. I hope that this has served you.
if you've been in our masterclass last week, you'd have been introduced to our manifesting process and the muscle testing. Of course, we did the muscle testing again today, which comes from applied kinesiology. We dive in so much deeper into the certification program. I wanted to give you a little, little sneak peek. Glenda's been calm, excited and peaceful. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for everyone who's joined us for the replay as well, I know people saying they're going to tune in later. So I'd love to know what was the entity that you released, how you're feeling after you released the entity, and how you felt after imprinting and aligning to divine love. And I would love to take a moment to invite you to the Helix Method Certification Programme if you're feeling called. We are on a mission to help people master their reality creation and to help more practitioners to have fast, faster results with their clients. We start live coaching in September and we're welcoming in new students now and that's so that you can ease yourself into, into it with the digital recordings before our live coaching starts. You can come and join our private community and come and hang out with us over the summer. So what we're up to, we're bringing together a select group of coaches and teaching them how to create rapid transformation with their clients without having to create programs from scratch, without having to you know, spend hours and hours figuring out their own systems and wasting time writing up hugely lengthy case studies. This has been created so you can fit it in alongside all of your other commitments and really fly with it. And I'm so excited to share this invitation with you because I know you'll master the the art of alignment and the manifesting process, it always works. You'll have a complete toolkit and framework that you can use with your own clients within 60 days or less so that you can create your biggest impact and rapidly create that change in your clients. And then ultimately, if your clients will keep coming back, it increases your monthly revenue as well. So this is for you if you want to help your clients with energetics, energy alignment and manifesting so that they have quantum leaps in their life. And I'll give you everything you need to create that rapid transformation for all your clients right now, including the immediate access to all the training content, what to focus on straight away. And you'll have access to me for alignment and manifesting. And you'll also have lifetime access to our membership site with all the training and the scripts and the blueprints and the activations to start raising your clients frequency in 60 days or less. And this is absolutely huge because as we add to it, you, you will you've got lifetime access to all the upgrades as well. So whether you're new to coaching or a seven-figure entrepreneur, this is for you. So this method is about unlocking flow in your life and the lives of your clients, elevating the consciousness of the planet. So what you get is we've broken the certification down uh, at this stage into a foundational level and an advanced level within the program. Your live calls will run from the first week, um, the week of the 22nd of September to the 23rd of January. Our calls are at four o'clock UK time. So on the first three Thursdays of each month. And then we have the fourth week for integration. So no call. And we have integration time over the Christmas period, spring, and then summer, which is why the calls are starting in September. That's so you have balance in the program, you've got time with your family. It's really important for transformation. And in the foundational level, which is how we spend our first eight weeks together, You'll learn the foundational techniques for energy alignment across the different levels of consciousness and manifesting and be able to be set up to use them you know, immediately with your clients. You will learn our protocols for calibrating clients to a new frequency, alchemizing anxiety. Anxiety holds so many people back. Our framework for identifying clients' root beliefs. This is an absolute game changer. And that combined with releasing the emotional thought forms, which gave you a little sneak peek of today, and our manifesting framework that you, you can just bring all of this and lift that off the shelf and use it immediately with your clients. And then on top of that, you have three ready-made programs with a license to deliver them in your business. And so one on self-love and confidence, you're uncovering and healing the root beliefs that don't serve people anymore. So your client can grow in confidence and self-trust. And that has an impact across all areas of life. Wealth and abundance so that they can create a new money default set point. So they can feel safe to allow more in and release the financial trauma, all the known stuff that they know about, and then all the stuff they don't know about. And then optimizing health and healing with our protocols for reducing stress to improve energy and vitality, improving mental and emotional well-being, and, and optimizing weight for health um, as well. So these are the, the big three that impact all areas of clients' life. So providing you an immediate increase in your clients' vibration and attraction points so that their experience of life changes. 
and you'll also learn how to lead transformational BIP one-to-one -one sessions and understanding the different types of resistances that can come up and what on earth to do about it and how to help your clients embody their, their transformation so that their results last. So you receive your, your certificate on completion of this course. We work really closely together. So, you know, I'll, I'll be working with you and so I'll know where you're at. And then when you're ready, you'll be ready to dive into the advanced techniques in level two. And so we carry on straight away and dive straight into the advanced level, spend eight weeks teaching you how to work more deeply with your clients and to apply advanced energy alignment and manifesting techniques. You'll learn how to transform the trauma and other emotions that are standing in the way of a client's success so they can achieve their goals with ease. You'll learn advanced energetic structures, our protocols for alignment and manifesting. It, I mean, it's so exciting. I can't tell you like how to create an instant shift in someone's mental well-being and that you see them change in front of your eyes. We'll teach you hologram healing, muscle testing by proxy. I mean, there's there's so much more to the sway than the yes and no response and you know when it gets a bit sticky. So I'll teach you how to, to read this and what to do about it and healing the trauma from the different levels of consciousness and transgenerational patterns. So you'll have advanced techniques and frameworks that you can add to your three programs. You can offer a longer program or you can offer a menu of shorter programs as well. Um, so you've got that option to suit you and your style working with your clients. And to certify at level two, you'll complete the course content and then submit five case reflections so you can share your learnings and insights and that informs the certification. So that is it. And it's completely magical. And I'm so excited for those of you that are joining us um, for our next round. We've got some incredible bonuses. That's what I wanted to share. I love bonuses. Doesn't everybody love bonuses? Who loves a bonus? Let me know if you love a good bonus. Um, let me know in the comments. So the bonuses that we have are everyone receives a golden ticket for to our live expansion retreat, which is in December, 8th of December. You also receive our roadmap to 10K to 50K months masterclass. So that will help you with creating your business model. It's going to support you in um, getting your, you know, your, having a business that's going to provide you with sustainability and growth. And within the program itself, within the Helix Method program, you have a full year of support so that you're fully supported as you practice what you've learned with your clients and further develop your skills. And as part of that bonus of that support for the year, you're invited back to attend the next intake for the program so that you can embody the wisdom on a deeper level, network with more um, mentors. So you have live coaching and support for that year because we have two intakes for the Helix Method um, a year. We haven't set the dates for next year yet, but we will do that shortly. Um, and the value for this whole program is apps is insane. It's well over 30K. And at this moment in time, you can become a certified advanced Helix Method mentor for just five payment, um, 10 payments of 500 pounds, or you can pay in full for 4,000 pounds. That's when you purchase before Friday, the 12th of August. So by, you know, before the end of the day tomorrow, at the time of redoing this live, the retail price is currently 6,000. So you've got a lovely juicy saving there of a thousand pounds of the payment plan or 2,000 pounds of this pay in full. The bit that I did want to give everybody a heads up on um, is that the price is going to go up in September. So the price will be doubling in September. So just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of that as a, to, in case that helps with decision making. And the other thing I wanted to share, we have more juicy bonuses for those of you that are choosing to pay in full. So you will receive the Copywriting Club Toolkit and Training, which is huge so that you develop your skills in this area and it will help you clients find you as you develop your, your skills here the value of that is insane it's well over a thousand pounds there um, and that will support you wherever you're at in business because we're always developing and enhancing our skills and then we have the alchemy and growing your audience workshop which is really super and magical where you'll get clarity on the energetic principles behind audience growth and an authentic way to add 25 to 250 potential clients to your business and 10k plus to your bank account each and every month and the value of that workshop is 444 pounds so that's absolutely huge and so you'll receive the the alchemy and growing audience um, workshop replay it's a replay and the um copywriting club toolkit straight away 
um, when you've paid in full. And so what we'll do is we'll get you set up as soon as you say yes, welcome you into our family, invite you to focus on a couple of things to ease you in before we start our live calls, which start the week of the 22nd of September. So if you'd like to find out more and to come and join us, then let me pop the link here for the program. Julie's saying, yep, I love a good bonus. Glenda's saying, yes, I always do. CJ's, yes, I always do. Yes, me too. I love it. <laughs> These are really good bonuses. Juicy, juicy bonuses. So um, I'll pop the link in the comments. I invite you to uh, click the link so you can um, find out all the details. Um, and it's got the payment options there for you at the current at the current pricing. But as I said, just to give you a heads up, the um, our prices are going up in uh, September and for the Helix method, it is doubling. So just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of that. So it's a incredible, incredible offer right now. Um, any other questions before we wrap up? We're just trying to see if there's any other questions. Mm -mm -mm. See if I can, I'm sure I saw Katrina, I want to say hello to Katrina. Katrina, I'm sure I saw, I saw your name pop out when you disappeared. Oh, I can see, there you are. Hello, lovely, how are you doing? So anyone who's joined halfway through, we have done a, um, releasing of uh, emotional fault entities. So I invite you to go back and revisit that. And then I've provided you with a overview of the Helix Method certification program. I've given you the link so you can go and check it out. Any questions, please do reach out. I'll be in the DMs this evening. I am going, I'm going to Croatia tomorrow. I manifested a free holiday to Croatia this week. So literally this is decided on Tuesday. So I'm off. Uh, um, off to Croatia so my team will pick up and um, pick up anything in my absence and, and help you have access to um, the program um, etc and we have um, all our wonderful Helix Method mentors in the community as well and uh, I will be uh, back in the land of I was going to say the land of living, back in uh, the UK uh, before we um, start September. Um, and then we'll be starting all the live calls again the week of the 12th of September. So just helping you to kind of have a, a lay of the land. Are there any questions? Let me know. Anyone on the replay? Let me know if there's any questions. I hope that this has served you. If this is feeling aligned, we would love to have you join us. Then um, do just reach out to us via the link. Um, you can also send us um, a, an email if you've got any questions at clientcare at louisahavers.com and we will take it from there. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that this has served you and as ever, follow your soul. It knows the way. Lots and lots of love. Take care.